One of the questions my clients often ask me is, what do I do to keep track of my spending on a monthly basis? And really the answer is, what's good for me is good for me and what's good for you might be something different. We wanna use the KISS method here, keep it simple, stupid. If we over-engineer things, if we make it too complex, there's a high likelihood that we won't be able to follow through. Now there are plenty of websites out there. There's mint.com, moneystrands.com, wasabi.com, gzo.com. It goes on and on and on. Plus there's the old standbys, Microsoft Money, Quicken, those kinds of things. And they're great at aggregating where all of your account activity is taking place and bringing it into one location. The problem that I have with those is they're just too smart for me. They will start making projections and running all these calculations off of my activity that might not necessarily apply to my situation two weeks from now. So I'm much more inclined to use a manual method, and I actually do. I have an Excel spreadsheet that looks exactly like a checkbook register, and that is where I keep track of all of my spending activity. It seems kind of manual and simple, but that's exactly the way I like it. I'm forced to engage with the numbers and always come up with a solid reconciliation of where I stand. I don't like to rely on things that are outside of my control. There could be bank errors, there could be, uh, there could be mess, uh, errors on websites and those kinds of things. I like to know that I've got it in my control. It's very simple to do. It takes me two seconds to add a new line item. So that's what I do and that's what I recommend, especially if you're just getting started so that you're engaged with the process and you always know where every dollar is going.